video, pag-uusapan natin yung 5 deadly mistakes ng mga beginners sa pagmamanukan. So, kung gusto mong malaman at maiwasan ang mga ito, please keep on watching. channel. And for today's video, kagaya ng sabi ko sa aking intro na, i-share ko sa inyo yung mga mistakes na palagi kong nakakita, lalo na sa mga beginners sa chicken farming or sa free-range chicken farming. By the way, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider to subscribe on this channel of Farm PH and click mo na din yung notification bell para updated ka sa mga videos ko. So, I share uh, tips, beginner tips sa mga nag-e-start pa lang para sa free-range farming. Nag-share din ako dito ng mga kaalaman ko as a pharmacist sa mga cure sa mga sakit at karamdaman ng ating mga manok. And I also share yung knowledge ko para sa mga saso chicken. So if you are interested, ang daming videos dyan sa aking channel. But mamayon yun na sila panoodin pagkatapos nito. So without further ado, let's get started. Guys, na napapansin ko sa mga beginner is that they venture without calculating risk. Tama. So, ang pagbabaluhan, pwede mo yung hobby or business. So, kung gagawin mo tong business, of course, you have to calculate the risk. Sometimes kasi sa mga beginners, kung may budget, mag i start talaga yan ng malalaki. Which is, for me, it's wrong. Kasi guys, uh, I've been there and ganun-ganun lang din ako nag-start. That is why gusto kong i-share to sa inyo. Kasi alam ko yung mga magkakamali na uh, naranasan ko yung time na yon Nag-start agad ako sa malaking numbers, which is very wrong. You have to start in a smaller uh, number or yung handful lang yung alam mo na kaya mo lang munang pag-startan na handful chicken mo it will be just a learning experience para sa'yo para malaman mo din kung para sa'yo ba talaga yung pagmamanukan kasi there are times na may isip mo sa sarili mo in the middle na oh para sa akin ba to hindi ka masyadong subo and hindi magiging malaki yung pagkalugi mo so it's just a trial and error process pa lang so kung beginner ka wag kang masyadong atat na oh kailangan madami na kaagad kasi hindi dapat ganon and the worst thing is kapag madami na kaagad and hindi mo pa alam yung mga bagay na kailangan mong malaman mas magkakaroon ka ng mga unfortunate events such as mortality. So, dapat alam mo muna yung gagawin mo bago ka pumasok dun sa mas malaki pang numbers. You venture without enough knowledge. Dahil lang narinig mo, kaya ka nag-start. Narinig mo kasi na maganda tong breed. Narinig mo na madami tong mga itlog. And kapag ibibenta mo yung mga sisiw is mas mahal siya kaysa ibang sisiw. So, hindi ka muna nagdahan-dahan na mag-research. Alam nyo ba guys, I believe na itong generation na to yung pinaka-bless when it comes to knowledge. Kasi sa YouTube pa lang, madami ka nang makikita at masa-search na gumagawa ng videos about sa pagmamanukan. So, kailangan dahan-dahan ka lang. Take it step by step. Kailangan mag-research ka muna sa mga needs ng manok mo. Kasi, Kagaya ng sabi ko, we are dealing in lifestyle. Kawawa naman yung manok kung uh, hindi hindi mo alam yung gagawin mo sa kanya. Of course, it needs care and attention. Huwag mo nang basta-basta mag -i start mag-research ka muna. Kasi kung ganun, na mag-i-start ka agad without knowing kung ano yung pinasok mo, para kang isang sundalo na walang bala. So, number three na napansin ko na mistake is feeling ko ito kasi yung mostly uh, purpose natin. Kaya tayo nag-start ng 
uh, manukan. Do kagaya ng sabi ko, there are two types or purpose. Yung isa habi lang, ay eh, yung pangalawa is yung business. Some people kasi, they start uh, chicken farming because of the profits. You venture because of money. So, hindi ko sinasabing it's wrong. Of course, bakit naman, di ba? Sino ba naman yung ayaw na kumita dun sa hobby mo or dun sa pagmamanukan mo, di ba? O, lahat naman tayo gusto yun. I myself personally gusto yun. But, um, you have to know, kasi may mga tao kasi na um, pumapasok lang sila dahil, oh, malaki nga daw yung tubo sa ganitong breed. So, I will venture on that. Kasi ganito yun, guys. Uh, although, yes, that breed is so nice, talagang malaki ang kitaan. But, of course, there will be a time na there are unexpected events, kagaya ng sabi ko kanina, which is mortalities. So, kapag, for example, napasukan ka ng sakit, pero wag naman sana, no? Uh, for example, napasukan ka ng sakit, and then, nalugi ka, and then you will stop ng ganun-ganun na lang. So, I think that is one of the wrongs or mistakes ng mga beginners. Kasi, um, yung motive mo is only the money, which is not very wrong, but it's not solely supposed to be your motive. Kailangan mong malaman ko ano nga ba yung motive mo kung bakit ka mag start na chicken farming. So, number four, guys, is you venture without knowing your why. Bakit? Bakit nga ba ako magsisimula nito? So, kailangan, ano eh, may paghuhugutan ka kasi as as a chicken farmer myself, I have the experience na sunod-sunod yung mortality and sasabihin ko na, should I still go on? Kailangan ko bang ipagpatuloy to? Kasi syempre, yung uh, pera ko, yung effort ko and yung time ko is uh, nandyan na napapasubo. And kasi kapag wala kang purpose, wala kang patutunguhan, feeling mo, wala kang na-achieve, magiging ano ka, discourage ka and mag- mawawalan ka ng motivation sa pagmamanukan mo. So, as a beginner, before you start, you have to ask yourself, bakit ko ba ito gagawin? Guys. And lastly, last but not the least, so, uh, and dito guys, yung last is, you venture because you want to prove a point. Some people, kasi yung barkada nila or yung kakilala nila, they are very good and gusto lang nilang uh, maipakita yung point na, oh, ako, kaya ko din magparami ng manok, kaya ko din yung maman sa pagmamanukan. And that is a very wrong thing, guys. No, no, no. no. Huwag nyo yung isipin. It's a very wrong thinking to start a farm or say, you will end up as someone na, um, frustrated kasi palagi kang nakikipagkompetensya sa iba wherein hindi naman pala dapat ganun. Kung mag start guys, uh, huwag niyong aasahan na magbo-boom talaga yan kaagad. No, don't think of that. Just think of it as a learning process little by little kasi kung para talaga sa'yo yan at hindi ka talaga nag-give up, you will be successful in your chosen field be successful if you know why are you starting it and kung tama yung heart mo, tama yung motive mo, and your motive is to help other people. So, that is all guys for this video. Wow, napahaba ata yung video natin, but I hope na may natutunan kayo as always. And, um, please don't forget to subscribe kung may mga suggestion pa kayo for other videos. Don't hesitate to comment down below and i-answer natin yan. So that is it for this video. I enjoyed it. Thank you so much and goodbye.